God has over a hundred names in the Bible, each revealing who he is. And I want to take some time to take a look at just some of the names of God, because his name reveals his nature. When God told Abraham at 99 years old in Genesis 17 that he would be the father of many nations, he introduces himself with a new name. You see, at this point in scripture, Abraham and Sarah had already made an attempt to help God fulfill his promise by having a child with Hagar, their servant. But God came to Abraham with a new name. He said, I am El Shaddai, God Almighty, meaning all sufficient one. Essentially, he was saying, Abraham, I have limitless ability. Nothing is too hard for me. I am able to supply abundantly. I don't need your help to fulfill my promises. We have a tendency to be in a hurry, don't we? God's timing isn't always our timing and vice versa. Abraham was aware that he wasn't getting any younger and neither was Sarah. But God is outside of time. 2 Peter 3 says, With the Lord, a day is like a thousand years, and a thousand years are like a day. The Lord is not slow in keeping his promise, as some understand slowness. What impossible situations do you have in your life that you need El Shaddai, Almighty God, the all-sufficient one, to come and intervene? Trust his timing. Trust his promises. Trust that he will meet every one of your needs because he is the all-sufficient one.